Hi everyone, my name is Susan Rahman and I'm going to be your teacher for family and intimate relationships at Calm this semester. Welcome and I hope you're having a super summer. Um, I hope you're not quite thinking about school yet. Um, I hope you're still like deciding that it's summer. Uh, I'm already back at work because that's the teacher's life. We get a week, we start a week before you but I still had summer so I can't really complain. Um, so what's a family class? What are we going to do? We're going to learn about the family sociologically and psychologically, and we're going to think about the family in relation to our own lives as well, and look at um, different factors as they relate to family, like our gender or our ethnicity or our social class. Um, we're going to look at policy. We're going to look at um, children of incarcerated parents. We're just going to do different stuff throughout the semester. It's going to be really fun. It's going to be really thought-provoking. It might um, it might be hard sometimes because we all come from some family and um, our own family um, has shaped who we are, whether we like it or not. Um, some of what we've learned from our family is probably wonderful and some of it might not be so wonderful, but we're going to kind of unpack that a little bit throughout the course of the semester. So. This class, um, aside from content, which is, you know, basically just what I've said, um, is structured in the form of a, f a hybrid. And so what does that exactly mean? It means that we're going to be doing half of the work in class on Wednesdays, right? We're going to meet from 1.30 to 3 in um, the Academic Center, room 236. But then we're also going to do half of this work on this module. Okay, so you, let me go back here. I just want to walk you through this. I, I'm sure you've done Canvas a bazillion times and you're totally an expert, but in case you're not, let me just walk you through this. So here you are at your dashboard, except this one's mine. Um, and then you have all these little squares, right? All your little classes. So family and intimate relationships is the one that I'm teaching you. And um, basically, when you get in, you're going to come to the home and it's going to show you this module, right? You're going to look at it via student view, so I'll change it just so that you and I see the same thing. And um, at this point, you're going to have access to the first three modules, which is more than you need. Um, but basically, let me walk you through just the beginning section. Um, every, so, so every night before class is when you're going to have to post. And so... Um, the first discussion is going to be due on Tuesday. And that discussion is going to be based on you having watched this film, That's a Family, which is about a 30 minute film. And then you're going to answer the following question. So I'm just going to, sh oh, it's locked. <laughs> I'm going to unlock it. Don't worry. I'm going to go unlock it as soon as I hang, as soon as I finish this message. But basically, it's going to be a pretty straightforward, um, meet and greet, talking about who you are and how you relate to the film, okay? So it's simple, I'll, I'll go unlock it and then you'll be able to see it. Um, but before we do that, let me just walk you through a few other things. Um, I'd invite you to t go through these things that you're on a to-do list, right? So the orientation module, the paper rubric module, tips for writing a paper, we'll talk about that. Um, what is service learning? So let me let me let me switch gears and talk about service learning just for a quick minute because um, it's a class that I'm offering actually immediately following our family class. And so I want to be able to just tell you a little bit about it. Um, service learning is um, is a hands on kind of learning experience where we meet once a week in class. We meet from 310 to 430 um, for most of the semester. Um, and then the rest of the time you volunteer or do a field work placement in a local social service agency. And I have um, 40 placements that you can choose from um, already set up where the supervisors are eagerly awaiting students to help mentor them and give them an idea of what it would look like to work in that sort of environment. Um, I'm sure I'll mention it on the first day of class with you. But if it sounds like something that you're interested in, I, I highly recommend, first of all, enrolling in it. Uh, the CRN and everything is all there, so you can, you can go in and do it. 
Um, there, as you can see, there's a prereq. So if you don't meet that prereq and you still want to add in, this class can serve as that. So I'm happy to waive it. You just have to let me know. Um, so it's a great class. Um, if you're needing another class, the other thing about this class that makes it different than a lot of other classes is there's no um, there's no tests and there's no big paper. The, the, the written work is journaling. And so if you're needing another class and you have some very heavy writing, math, academic schedule that's like, ah, but I need three more units, I think this is a great addition because it's a different type of brain work and it's really good for your soul. Um, okay, I'll shamelessly plug it when I see you next, next time. But let me go back to the module. Um, so that service learning. So then the book, you don't buy a book for this class. It's um, a zero cost book. So um, zero cost class, I mean. So for those of you that know what that designation is when you schedule um, classes, you see that this class doesn't require any sort of book cost. So this is the book and you're able to get it. Um, there you are. It's all yours. You're welcome. Um, and basically, it's going to just tell you each module is going to have the page assignment in there so you'll know what you're supposed to be reading. Um, here's the syllabus. We will spend a little bit of time going over it in class. Um, if you desire a printed copy, oh, Actually, I think I'm going to bring printed copies to class. Even though I'm mostly trying to go paperless, I think I do have a stack. So don't worry about printing it. Um, and then the last thing I want to talk to you about is something that is sort of unique. I do a tour of San Quentin with you, and the tour this year will be Wednesday, November 20th. So I'd ask you to mark your calendars if this is something that you'd like to do. Um, it takes basically the whole day. So we get there around 9.15 and we don't leave there until 2.30 or 3. So, I mean, this is not a requirement of the class, but I highly recommend that you come. It's, um, it's one of those things that um, I think changes your perspective. And so um, I'd love for you to come. We'll go over, we'll go over the syllabus, San Quentin, service learning, and the book when I see you on Wednesday but I just wanted to give you a heads up. So between now and then, kind of find your way around this, this um, module, familiarize yourself with it, look at all the stuff. If anything doesn't make sense or if you're not able to access anything, just shoot me an email and um, I'll get back to you really quickly. Um, when you see me on Wednesday, you'll see that I have a big cast on my foot, which means I can't do very much like to distract me from working on my computer. So I'll be quick to get back to your emails. <laughs> Waiting for this cast to get off pretty soon, but for now I'm kind of stuck. So, um, all right, have a good rest of summer. Go do fun things. And I look forward to getting to know you next week. Take care. <laughs>